No more tree. Now we're officially waiting for next Christmas. This one's over. <laughs> Finally, some of you might say. Uh, taking everything down. Uh, but right now we gotta go pick up my pickup truck, which remember I told you was getting detailed in Steinbeck. I'm gonna bring that to the shop. I've got my truck here at the house because I've gotta get ready to go on a trip later today. Before we left on our trip to Texas, this last one, I brought my pickup truck to get detailed, remember? So now we're going to pick it up and take a look at it. Come on, boys. This is what we woke up to today. Beautiful. So it looks like winter's actually here finally. We had a, such a mild beginning to the winter. We we're very lucky. But uh, we woke up today, it was minus 25. The trees are just coated in hoarfrost. It's a beautiful picture. But the forecast for the week says it's going to be pretty cold. Around the minus 25 range in Celsius. Winter was coming one, one way or another. It was, it was going to get us. Here it is. So I was actually uh, kind of sick the last couple of days. I didn't film. I've been at home for a couple of days. I had a pretty bad cold. And uh, finally getting over that. That wasn't fun. But uh, it happens to all of us. It's that season, isn't it? I'm pretty sure I was able to distance myself in the house and sort of isolate myself a little bit from Brit and Theo. They didn't catch it. Knock on wood. Hopefully they don't in the next couple of days, but uh, we did everything we could to make sure that it didn't get passed on to them. It was just me. Texas, what did you do to me? I came down there and visited and you gave me a bug. I did take a COVID test, it wasn't COVID. So it was just a bad cold. I had a really sore throat, a uh, runny nose. And the next day I had aches and pains, really bad headache. And uh, felt pretty dehydrated. And then today, I'm like back up to 90%, so I'll be good to go either tonight or tomorrow morning. Nice and shiny inside and out. This truck hasn't been clean like this in a long time. Ooh. Set my seat covers over there. I don't know if I'll need them now. I don't know if I want to cover up these nice things now. I put uh, seat covers on the front seats because they're such a light color. On my next pickup truck, I would definitely get seats with a darker color because this color shows stains right away. Right away. Look at this though, eh? Now we had a little bit of an issue. Uh, I went there to pick it up the first time yesterday and uh, I had some mud splashed on the ceiling of my truck back there. That was from when Diesel was back there once and he had some, he got a little wet, he got into the back of my truck and shook. Got mud everywhere. And they didn't wash the top of the ceiling. There's a bit of a miscommunication, I guess. But we got it fixed, they took it back in and they finished it all off for free, or for the same price without charging me extra, which was awesome. They stayed in our good graces. But everything else, just, mm. Beautiful. Did a great job. And this was uh, Dion Schrader at the Detail and Glass Company in Steinbach. I'd highly recommend. All right. It's time to get ready to go on a trip. Look at my eyes, hey? You still tell I'm kind of still, still getting over it. We'll see how I feel tomorrow, I guess. Or later today. I'm feeling pretty good now, though. Pretty much like I'm at like 90 percent.
Well, I'm getting a late start. We put Theo to bed. Britt's going to bed. I'm going to work. I've got to get the truck and trailer ready tonight so that I'm ready to go tomorrow morning. All right, Blue, we got you all closed up for tonight because I'm not going very far and I want to keep as much heat underneath here, underneath the hood as possible. On this trip, it is getting pretty cold out. I think it's going down to minus 25 Celsius. So I want to be sure that I keep as much heat in there as possible to keep the cab warm. But it's time to get going. It's late. Like I was telling you, I was debating whether or not just leaving in the morning or leaving now. And uh, I decided on now. That was the original plan anyway. It's better this way. This way I'm guaranteed to be at my customer on time tomorrow morning. If I leave in the morning, I'd have a lot to do and a lot of things that could go wrong. So what I'd have to do is I'd have to get all my stuff from in the house loaded into the pickup truck. Get the pickup truck started. Hopefully it'll start in minus 25. I've been having problems with that block heater the past couple of years. I think it still works. Britt was telling me that it doesn't. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I've never had a problem starting my pickup truck in like minus 30, minus 40 degree weather. It just, it starts up even if you don't plug it in. But you know, that's something that could go wrong tomorrow morning. My truck doesn't start. Okay, well now that's a delay. I can get it going, but it's gonna take some time. Then we gotta get everything loaded in the pickup. We gotta come all the way here to the shop. Gotta get everything from the pickup into Old Blue. It's settled in, get everything in there, get Old Blue warmed up, get her all ready for the road. Got to get my tarps up on there yet on my catwalk so that I have them with me. I'll need them for my reload after this Thunder Bay load because I won't need tarps on the way to Thunder Bay. But my next load from Kenora South, I'm going to need them. So that has to come on here. And what if the truck doesn't start in the morning? Right. Well, now that's another delay. Got to figure out what's wrong, get it going, wait for it to warm up. Okay, we get all that done. Then we go to the yard, go grab our trailer. Now it's minus 25. The trailer brakes might be frozen solid might be seized like from the cold <sighs> I can get them unlocked I can get them to release but again that's a delay it takes time and then I got to get to my customer and hope that there's nothing no accidents or anything on the road that I got to deal with some that could be a delay as well so there's there's a whole bunch of possible delays that could slow me down in the morning and I know me, I'm going to want to sleep in the morning and leave myself just enough time, get as much sleep as possible, leave me just enough time with a little bit of extra to get there. And if I have one or like, if I have two or three delays, well, then I'm late for my appointment. I don't, I just, I don't want to risk that. I know I could say, get up earlier, Josh. Yeah, I could get up earlier and have no delays and then be sitting there twiddling my thumbs for three hours. Yeah, I get it. I could do that. But the safest bet is to get everything done get the truck going, get the trailer going, make sure those brakes aren't frozen solid, make sure everything's good to go tonight so that tomorrow morning I just make a beeline straight to my customer and I'm there on time, which is about 15 minutes early. So that's the decision we made, just to be sure, double sure that we're on time. So you don't want to be late. It's not good. So let's get everything in here. Let's get it started up. Go we'll get our trailer. Hopefully we can find one that doesn't have frozen brakes. And then let's, let's go to bed. You guys remember when I was trying to slide my fifth wheel before the trip to Texas? And there was like a hundred of you who all said the same thing that I should grease this, uh, the pins in the fifth wheel here and the track. I'm here at the shop. I'm happy to report. I have bull snotted the daylights out of it. Greasable works great. All right, nice and grease. Those things slide in and out like butter. Now slide in and out like a hot knife through butter. Beautiful. And these cans come with like a little, uh, little stick. Like, uh, sorry for my lack of technical language, but uh, yeah, each can comes with their own little nozzle. You can stick that right in there and just get it deep in there. Just get it deep. 
heavy duty lubricant and it works great. Bolts not saves the day again. And greasable will stay on there. Water won't wash it off. That'll stay right there. So this I still have slid pretty much to the back, right? About six inches from the back, or not nah, four inches from the back. Once I get hooked onto a trailer, I'll probably move it forward again, and it'll be really easy to do it then. Truck is dirty. Yes, I know, it's dirty. It's winter time. I get a free pass in winter time when I don't have a clean truck, okay? I can't help it. I, I, you saw me, I washed it on the way home. This is what it looked like when I got home. That's just how it is out here in the winter time. park here uh, when their trucks not parked here their uh, personal vehicles are parked here where their truck usually goes well, about what, half and half or maybe a few more home maybe we need to fill some of these trucks up anyone want a job to fill some seats It's staying right here in the yard overnight, which is just fine. Uh, it's snowing. That is maybe fine, depending on where this goes. There was an 88% chance of snow today, so I want to get going to go pick up my load. So that'll be in tomorrow's video. So we're back on the road. I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to go do some trucking. I'll see you then.